Good morning, I'm Joe Fryer. We are coming on the air with breaking news. Just moments ago, NBC News confirmed that O.J. Simpson has died at the age of 76 following a battle with cancer. The former football great rose to infamy following the 1994 slayings of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman. He was accused of the murders, but ultimately acquitted following a lengthy trial. Simpson's family released a statement on social media today, reading in part, our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and his grandchildren, and we're told that he died yesterday. NBC's Cynthia McFadden covered the O.J. Simpson trial extensively, which captivated the nation. It was known as the trial of the century. Just a stunning development in a life that started with this football great. He won the Heisman Trophy at USC, was an NFL star playing largely for the Buffalo Bills for so many years, and then came the trial and ultimately serving prison time for an armed robbery. What are you thinking right now? Well, I'm thinking that this was a life that spanned both the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Uh, having sat in that courtroom for the entire 11-month criminal trial and then the subsequent civil trial in which the Goldman family uh, sued him uh, for, for money damages, uh, which were never made good on. Uh, some of the payments were made, but very, very little of the payments were ever made. You know, O.J. Simpson was um, a larger-than-life person who... Um, succumbed, I think, to the very worst instincts that he had. And um, he, while he was acquitted of the criminal trial, the evidence, if, as you sat in the courtroom, was just a mountain of evidence, the blood evidence, the evidence piled up against him. And yet the acquittal, the jury, I think one of the things that was interesting at the time, the jury, of course, saw a much different set of facts and what the, the those of us sitting in the courtroom saw. Much was excluded, much was changed. There were the famous, uh, the glove, if, if it doesn't fit, it must acquit, you know, you must acquit. The defense team, um, you know, outlawed the prosecution in many ways. Um, and it was a, it was a stunning, uh, the day of the verdict, I will never forget. I think we went in thinking that there was going to be a conviction, uh, and it was an acquittal. Um, he was convicted in this civil case where the standard, of course, is lower. Right. He was found liable in the civil case where, of course, it's a preponderance of the evidence versus yes. the reasonable doubt. And we do have to remember, before we even had the trial, we had the Bronco chase, which is just this moment in history that every single person remembers this low-speed Bronco chase through Los Angeles carried live on television. Yeah. Remember, it, it, the murder, of course, uh, occurred on June 12th, 1994, uh, went quickly to trial. The, the Bronco case was this. I mean, it's one of those things. If you were alive at that point, you probably remember where you were when that Bronco chase occurred. Uh, and, uh, you know, Simpson, uh, the, they went to court very quickly. I mean, when we know now, there are sometimes years of delay. In this case, uh, they went to court in November. The, the crime committed in June. They went to court in November. The verdict was in October of, of 95. We are just two months away now from marking 30 years since those murders, June 12th, 1994. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.